900 Miles. This is a traditional American folk song, still fairly well known. It's a love song. Tells the story of this feller who uh, comes down with a case of wanderlust, itchy feet, that urge to get up and get going and get gone. So he heads out west, maybe to seek his fortune, maybe to take in the natural scenic wonders. Or maybe just to shake off the dust from the town he just left behind. Then one day, he gets a letter from his own true love. Writing him a letter to let him know how much she misses him and wants him to come back home. So he drops everything and starts heading back as quick as he knows how. Back in those times, the fastest way to get around was by way of the iron horse. Which we know better as a steam locomotive which we know better still as the train, the choo-choo train. They called it a choo-choo train back then because back then trains ran on steam. And that was the sound of the train letting off a little steam, or in this case, a lot of steam. Choo-choo, that was the steam letting off. Took a lot of wood, a lot of coal to burn in them furnaces to create all that steam. But anyway, that's what he does. He hops a train, and starts heading back to his own true love. Only 900 more miles to go. Goes a little something like this. I was walking down the track. I've got tears in my eyes. I'm trying to read a letter from my home. And if this train runs me right, I'll be home tomorrow night. Cause I'm 900 miles from my home And I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow Well this train I ride on is a hundred coaches long You can hear the whistle blow a hundred miles and if this train runs me right, I'll see my woman tomorrow night. Cause I'm 900 miles from my home. And I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow. I will pawn you my wagon, I will pawn you my team I'll pawn you my gold watch and chain And if this train runs me right, I'll be home tomorrow night Cause I'm 900 miles from my home And I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow Nine hundred miles, that's classic traditional American folk song. The train was uh just one of many great inventions of the eighteen hundreds. Actually the train might have been invented in the seventeen hundreds, but it was put to practical use uh when they came up with the railroad system in the eighteen hundreds. Other great inventions uh or the was photography, the telegraph, the revolver. The match, no longer did you have to have to rub two sticks together to start a fire or flint and steel. You can just strike a match. Not only light your cigarette, but start a campfire. Then later the light bulb, um, the record player, or at least you could record your voice. I believe the first song ever recorded was Mary Had a Little Lamb by Thomas Edison. Motion pictures. Earlier, the cotton jenny. Almost forgot the cotton jenny. 